So this slide is going to demonstrate the histology of the esophagus and the stomach. And this slide comes from the gastroesophageal junction. So the mouth is up here, this is the esophagus. And just at this point here, there is a change in the epithelium uh, to the stomach epithelium here. So we'll go through that uh, just now. This is the luminal surface of the tissue and this is the external side of the tissue. The mucosa extends from the lumen right down to the muscularis mucosa here. Then from here to here is the submucosa and then we have our circular and longitudinal muscle and the adventitia. So the esophagus has got a stratified squamous epithelium here, then the lamina propria and then the muscularis mucosa which causes the mucosa to be folded. Underneath that the submucosa and then we have our two layers of muscle allowing peristalsis and then a connective tissue wrapping. If we move along though to the junction we can see an abrupt change in epithelium from this stratified squamous type sitting on the basement membrane here to a different type here and in this case the epithelium uh, it extends all the way from here right down to here so we can see the surface cells these pinky cells these are the cells that produce the mucus of the stomach and then every so often there's a dip into a gastric pit and this leads into branched tubular glands or gastric glands that you can see in cross section and various types of section extending all the way through the mucosa here. Within these glands you will find the parietal cells um, and the oxyntic cells, chief cells of the stomach that produce all the various um, stomach components like acid, pepsinogen, things like that. And these surface mucus cells at the top have got uh, nuclei in the base and then the top of them is filled with this pale pink staining mucus and this acts to protect the stomach. All this mucus is secreted so that there's a thick layer of mucus that's been cleaned away in this preparation to protect the stomach lining, the stomach mucosa from the very acidic uh, con uh, contents of the stomach. The very acidic contents of the stomach are produced uh, in the parietal cells which are down in the gastric glands the parietal cells produce HCL um, by pumping uh, protons um, and, and chloride that follows through so that the, the stomach acid is, is very concentrated. This demonstrated the abrupt change from stratified squamous epithelium in the esophagus to glandular epithelium in the stomach where the glands at the surface of the glands is covered with mucus producing protective cells and then leading into gastric glands which produce acid etc. This junction is quite important because if a patient or person suffers from gastric reflux they will have acid reflux affecting this part of the esophagus which may undergo a metaplastic change so that the epithelium changes from stratified squamous to a more glandular epithelium producing mucus to protect the esophagus um, and that is a form of metaplasia known as Barrett's esophagus.